Okay. We are ready. We're ready. Okay. <laughs> Folks, we are ready. Okay. We are right on time. This is fantastic. <clears throat> We're all here. It's great. Okay, I call this meeting to order. Welcome to the May 6, 2024 meeting of the Art in Public Places Committee. Jack, will you take roll? Committee member as Darren. Present. Committee member Faulkner. Here. Committee member Nathanson. Present. Committee member Puentes. Present. Committee member Stewart. Present. Vice Chair Kiefer. Present. And Chair Bungard. Present. All right, let the record reflect that all committee members are present. <laughs> Great. Okay, to start off, this is the time when any person may address matters not listed on the agenda today, but who are within the subject matter of the jurisdiction. The public may comment on agenda items when that item is called. If there's anyone here, each speaker is allowed three minutes. If there's a member of the public here to make open comment. Looks like we have no public comments. Okay, no public comments, thank you. Okay, we're talking of approval of the minutes. Did I see where that was floating? Do we have a copy that floats? Because I didn't see that come through. We don't typically okay. print out the attached Okay, I didn't see that it, it was attached. So Is that I'm, something you would like to have printed though? No, I just, I for some reason saw it in the comments that it was available to see. Um, so is anyone, um, I'm voted, we're gonna vote to approve the minutes for March 4th, which was. was so moved. moved. If you haven't been able to view them and you want time to view them, you can always continue that one to the next meeting. Okay, let's just continue that one. Are you guys cool with that? Did anyone else read them? Yeah, yes. I looked so over good. them. But... Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going <laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> to defer to my people. Okay. Say, would there, can we vote on the minutes? Yeah. Yes. We're no voting, actually. We're going to just say they are approved as submitted. I'm trusting these guys. It's great. I must have missed that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you don't. All right. So we're going to move on to scheduled items. I'm sorry. First can one. I? One second through the chair. Can I just ask one question? So are we are we continuing it or are we approving the minutes? We approve the minutes. Okay, everybody we agree. Have no addition. We don't have to Correct. vote on that anymore. Uh, oh no. It says no vote is needed. Yeah. Okay. We don't have to do a yeah. second. Yeah, we everybody's agreeing though. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We're agreeing. Yes, we are agreeing. Agreed. <laughs> we're gonna get we're gonna get in the flow of this. Exactly. Okay, thank you. The next thing is scheduled items. The first one is the election of the vice chair. For council policy 000-42 public art, the vice chair shall be elected by the APPC members on an annual basis. And we're here now. Recommended action is election of a person to the vice chair. So we're going to be um, making a motion for the nomination. Would anyone have a nomination for vice chair? Including yourself. <laughs> I would like to nominate myself for vice chair. Kirsten would like, can I get a second on that? I will second. Good. Um, so the nomination was motioned by Kirsten and is seconded by Lisa. And now we'll ask Jack to take a roll call vote. All right. Uh, Committee member Nancy Darian? Aye. Committee member Falkman? Aye. Committee member Nathanson? Aye. Committee member Puentes? Aye. Committee member, Aye. Committee member Stewart? Aye. Vice Chair Kiefer? Aye. And Chair Baumgartner? Hi. <laughs> all right, let the record be We have all eyes and no names. Great, great. Thank you, Kristen. Congratulations. Yeah. Yes, that's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Your second, uh, second sure term you in a row. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. Okay. okay, thank you. We'll move on to the next item, which is Friends of the Prince Memorial Greenway. Friends of the Prince Memorial Greenway and Lisa Krantz will present the art proposal for a community improvement project along the Prince Memorial Greenway. The recommended action will be approval of their design, the artwork design, and we're going to get to hear from them. Yeah. Okay. Sensitive. When you're done, all you do is stop. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. All right. I think. Hello. Good afternoon, Madam Chair and members of the committee. I am Lisa Kranz. 
am a member of a group called the Friends of the Prince Memorial Greenway. And with me today is local artist Mario Uribe, and he is part of our team. And we are here to talk about a beautification project along the Prince Memorial Greenway. music. <laughs> okay, thank you. So first to orient you, the plaza here is in the center of your graphic. And this plaza is directly behind the Hyatt Hotel, which is right along Third Street, which is off the map. We have Highway 101 to the east, Olive Street to the west, and you can see just a smidgen of Olive Park there to the south. So you can see also that the Prince Memorial Greenway intersects the plaza and there is a bridge across Santa Rosa Creek which connects this plaza to Olive Park on the south. <clears throat> so this is a relatively recent photograph of the site. You can see that it is a concrete round plaza it is surrounded on part of the side or one side by a low curving rock wall, which is capped with a concrete seating area. And behind that seating area is a grassy area that is pretty much devoid of the original vegetation. So it's just kind of some green, right? <laughs> and you can see that the, the fence behind it is on the other side of the fence is the Hyatt Hotel. I hope for our next slide, let me see. Okay, project. So the proposed project is a multi-phase project and uh, phase one is basically painting that center star area with four colors, basically two greens, a blue and an orange with uh, some concrete water-based enamel paint. And phase two of the project, which isn't showing on your slide here today, is to add mosaics to the top part of the bench. So we'd like to uh, continue with that. We have funding for phase one through a community improvement grant from the city. And we are seeking funding for the mosaic part for phase two. Future phases would include mosaics along the concrete plaza itself, similar to that in the Prince Gateway Park along Sonoma and Santa Rosa Avenues. Um, and then to also uh, revegetate the green space in the plaza as well. So those are just twinkles in our eye for now, but we're, we're hoping to do that in the relatively short term. So the timing for phase one of the project is June 17th through 19th. That's what we're focusing on trying to make that happen. And we'd like to try to complete phase two this summer sometime as well. So the project partners, uh, we've talked just a little bit about the friends, friends of the Prince Memorial Greenway. This is a group that was organized about a year ago to address various issues that one encounters along the Greenway. Litter is one of those, uh, the need to tame some of the vegetation, uh, some infrastructure and maintenance problems as well. And just basically the group is hoping to enhance the Greenway um, to attract more people to it. And art is one of the ways that we're hoping to do that. And you know, there is already art uh, along the Greenway and we're hoping to expand that. And that's a definitely an interest of the group. So this is our inaugural project. Another of the partners is uh, Art Start. And you'll know that Art Start is a local nonprofit that provides art experiences for teens. Art Start has done a lot of art projects, mosaics being included along the Greenway to date. And Ashira Weiss, who is the director of Art Start, would be the project manager for this particular project. Chops Teen Club is also involved. Chops Teen Club will be providing at least six apprenticed artists for uh, the art project on the days that we'll be working. And, and Mario is um, basically the conceiver of the plan and has helped the Prince 
the Prince Memorial Greenway Friends uh, helped to bring that to, uh, to this point today. So I'm gonna go back to, this is just an illustrative. Uh, these aren't the exact colors, but it is indicative of, of what we're hoping to do to um, brighten this space, help make it a colorful focal point for the Greenway and hopefully a catalyst to other art projects as well. So we're seeking your approval to move forward today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Great. I will now ask for any public comment. Anyone there still? No one slipped in? Okay, no one's here. Um, the next thing we'll be doing is have a discussion, not um, uh, any kind of motion or questions or just talking about it. Do you want to, um, in order to start a discussion, we need to have a motion. So would someone like to make the recommended motion that we approve or, and then we can talk? And actually my understanding is that the there can be questions um, okay. prior to a motion. I thought so too, but I'm not seeing that on my list that I'm looking at. So oh. sorry about that. Maybe I, yeah. well, I'm following along with what they give me. Oh, I might've missed it. Yep, thanks Jeff. I'm, um, I'm still learning everyone, just so you know, I'm still very green at this kind of leading, so I appreciate you saying that. Yes, Jeff, I missed that last little bit. I was thinking, where are the questions? So, so first so, of all, questions for our friends that are prevent, um, presenting. Yes, I, I, I have a question. Um, I, maybe, maybe I zoned out for a moment, but um, what's the timeline on this? Uh, uh, Relatively short. So uh, we're hoping to initiate the project with power washing on day one, June 17th. Oh, okay. And then the next day would be the first coat of paint. The next day would be the second coat of paint and a, a sealer. So all of this would be done in June? Yes. How about the mosaics? Point. The mosaics doesn't have a specific time frame, but um, Art Start has apprentices who are doing mosaics and they would like to provide that experience to the group this summer. I think if I can... Please. Jack, uh, yes, please. All of the mosaic would be assembled yeah. offsite at the Art Start uh, warehouse. So it could be installed also in a two day period, one day to, to nice. buy thin set and put the mosaic down and then crowd it. And, and that's it. That's for the benches only. Mm -hmm. That's something that can be done inexpensively with just color tile. And uh, the tile for the, the plaza itself, it gets graffitied a lot, yeah. a lot. And yeah. concrete gets graffitied a lot. And when the city tries to touch it up, you end up with squares that are triangles mm -hmm. of different colors of gray. And it doesn't, it looks worse, I think. But if this gets graffitied, we have that color. Mm -hmm. And anyone can go out there and brush it on and cover the graffiti until it gets tiled. So the tile would be uh, non-skid exterior tile like was used around the fish, Gateway okay, Plaza. And uh, that's a more permanent solution to it. And if that gets graffitied, it can be scrubbed off. So basically that's where we're hopefully heading towards doing that. But what can happen very soon is the painting, which would change the aspect of the plaza mm -hmm. and, and the tile on the bench. Yeah. Great. Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Other questions? Yeah, just so I'm clear, phase two will be the tile. Phase one's just the paint on the concrete, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's all we're asking. Okay. Right. And then um, also, too, I heard that, you know, just in case it does get graffiti, we can just repaint over. But um, approximately how long do you, is this, because I know you're doing the coating over it, um, do you think this was going to last uh, being just on a pavement underneath well, people and bikes <laughs> and everything else? Yeah, uh, it can last for a few years. Okay, uh, yes. Uh, there's uh, parts of the paintings that are on the street in, in the area, this area that have been around for five, six years, and you can still see the paint. It doesn't look great because yeah. you're walking on it, but it'll change the, the aspect of it right away. Yes, 
I agree. Yeah. And then hopefully uh, it'll bring people to the area. There'll be performances there or exhibits or who knows what. If it's mm -hmm. not. Color can change, yeah. change the atmosphere and yeah. make it more accessible to people. I have a two-part comment and question. Uh, as someone who has used the trail often, in, mm -hmm. I mean, especially in the last couple of months as the weather's been getting nicer and nicer, I am looking forward to more opportunities for artwork and uh, exciting opportunities along the trail that is exciting to see and experience. So I really... I'm thankful that you guys are bringing this to our committee for our review today. And my question is long-term along the lines of Lisa's questioning about the longevity of the project. Uh, do you anticipate that there could be opportunity to change the colors or how could this piece adapt with you know, time? <laughs> well, I, I believe that the next step would be to tile it. And color is not the exact same color because the kind of tile that, that that's used outdoors to be walked on mm. is usually muted colors. Uh, but that's okay. We can have contrast if we don't have bright. So if it lasts, it could be that by next year we have the funding to do the, the tile. And we haven't really even come up with a figure or <laughs> how much it would cost. But at least the paint, we know how much it's going to cost. Sure. And yeah. doing the tile on top of the benches also, that's funding that's not really large that we could come up with it this summer. Yeah, sure. We have an idea of what that cost will be. And so we're trying to get funds for that now. And our hope is that it won't be too much longer mm -hmm. before we can actually uh, start fundraising and doing the tile for the center part as well. So we're hoping that momentum will carry us to the next phases and that we'll be able to finish, finish this uh, before and the mo do the mosaics before the paint fades, uh -huh. <laughs> get the vegetation in and get a, a brighter spot. Great, thank you. Yeah. I'm glad to hear about the friends of the Prince Memorial Greenway group. Uh, I think that this part of town really needs attention. So appreciative for the thoughtful eyes. <laughs> Hmm. Any other questions? So just out of curiosity, um, I know that sort of beautification or urban renewal projects can often result in the displacement of you know people who are in those spaces. And I'm curious if there uh, is a, an attempt to synchronize or work with service providers in anticipation of the uh, initiation of this project. We, ha we haven't talked about that, no. I, I'm just curious because I, you know, there have been a number of encampments along the creek, mm -hmm. and just a, I think one it. of the reasons for doing this is to clear some of the those encampments. I think the city is trying to do something about that. Right. Yeah. So I'm just out, just because I'm curious. I'm wondering if there's an attempt to engage with um, service providers yeah. as opposed to a police. Sweet kind of presence. Well, it, as, yeah, as this is not in any way going to interfere with people camping out. Yeah. I don't think. Or people know, using anyone using can it. use the plaza. Uh -huh. Yeah, so. if I may, it's not normally an area where okay. that happens. Uh, and there's yeah. also the um, that sweep down below that whole area. So there's uh -huh. even when it's closed, there's another way to go through uh -huh. and open. So it's not normally an area where that happens, but. Um, we can look at it before and definitely be sensitive to that Just for sure. Thought. No, yeah. that's a that's a great yeah. one. That's and, a great idea. Is. We have thought about leaving the area open, closing some uh -huh. areas during it. This is gonna happen so fast that nothing is gonna be closed uh -huh. for a day or even one day. So. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yeah. And through the city special event permit, we'll work on those aspects, you know, how long it needs to be closed just to make sure that the paint sets, you know, uh -huh. people can access it again. So it'll be a pretty short period. Great, thanks. Yeah. Anyone else? And we need a motion. Yeah, that's what I'm going to. Thank you, thank you. Um, I, I, I'd like to make a motion. Uh, I move to approve the uh, Prince Greenway project as presented. Second. Second. <laughs> 
Okay. Now we can have any discussion about them before we vote. I think that looks great. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And 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 being familiar with uh, Mario's work and uh, the work of Art Start and having also worked with Chops in, on uh, uh, programs for youth in the past, uh, I, sounds like a, a great project. And I have a question to follow up to. Would that include the painting and the benchtop mosaic, just to be sure? Uh, the benchmark mosaic was not sent to us in the PDF that we received, so it hasn't been um, reviewed as of yet. Um, I would like to review it before we vote on something, even though I know I've seen um, Art Starts mosaics and they've been amazing. This would be just color. It would be... Mm -hmm. Probably mosaic cut in different pieces of, in a variation of a color. Orange, I think, is what we use there. I like this. But it could be any color. It just, so it would be a very, and it wouldn't be a design. Yeah. Yeah. It's, so it's what that picture shows up there on the. Right. So you'd border. see mostly an orange band. Just a top. banner. Yeah. So, so my, my motion was um, to approve it as presented, which I think would address your question, Lisa, because this is what we're looking at and what was presented. But it was, but, yeah, the, but the declare. Not, would you like them to come back and present the mosaic before it's happened, before it happens? Is that what you're asking? Well, just because I, I don't have it. Has anybody seen the mosaics? We don't have a visual of it. We just yeah. mentioned it in yes. the narrative. Yes. Yeah. And right, so that would be a phase two. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So but, that, but that would seem appropriate to yeah. actually see that. Before we that. approve it. We right. could easily okay. provide you with a section. Area. Okay, yeah, 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 that would be that'd wonderful. Be that would be, yes, absolutely. Great. Wonderful. So right now you're just approving the phase, phase one, one, which is the painting project. Yes, yeah, correct. I just wanted to clarify, okay. make sure. Thank you. Yes, sorry about that. No, no, that's yeah, a good no, clarification. No, <laughs> I'd, I'd like to make a comment that I got to take the walk with, well, you were on the walk with Jessica, Bryce, and I, and we did several of them. The man that does a lot of the gardening, you know, just Robert. during his time. What was his name? Robert Ash. Robert, yeah, amazing. Several business owners, the man that um, owns TVX. And there was, I don't remember all the names because it was about five months ago. But I was just really impressed with the commitment to the area and, and really the love for the area and the imagination. And I see this coming in the same spirit of where the attention and it's not like a, some random thought that you're adding. I just want to affirm not that. Not at all. And, and in fact, right. this is not only the beginning of the spot, but it's the beginning of something that's going to encompass the entire uh, Okay, wait. <laughs> The Prince Memorial Greenway, mm -hmm. uh, with the other kinds of ways of uh, addressing the graffiti, yeah. it's the same idea, you know. Because if you're going to paint a sidewalk with a gray rectangle, you might as well paint. It's all gridded anyway, concrete. You might as well paint a color. And there's lot, lots of mosaic along the Prince Greenway, so it would be mosaicing the whole walk, mm -hmm. really. Yeah. And with that housing that's coming in, I don't know how far along that is. Mm -hmm. Further down is going to have some access onto the yeah. space, which was really good to see. Yeah. So, anyone else have a discussion point or? Okay. So, can we um, call a vote on the motion? Absolutely. Committee member Azadarian? Aye. Committee member Faulkner? Aye. Committee member Nathanson? Aye. Committee member Puentes? Aye. Committee member Stewart? Aye. Vice Chair Kiefer? Aye. Chair Von Gardner? Aye. All right, let the record reflect that we have all members and everyone has eyes. Great. Thank you for your presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. The next project is the Fire Station 5 Public Art Project Recommended Artist. Um, is it Jill, both of you guys presenting? Bryce is going to present today. Yes. I'll be here to chime in as well. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Guys. That's great.
that one. Actually, I. Oh. Actually, I'll come. Great. Here's the. Uh, here's the fire station five car project. Thanks. Project site is a new fire station located at the southeast corner of Fountain Grove Parkway in the Stagecoach Road in Santa Rosa, California. The attached diagrams identify four possible locations for the public art, both on on-site locations as well as on building locations. The sizes four available areas are one central landscape area about 170 square feet, two the east wall um, 11 feet by 15 feet by nine feet, and then the three the five tower wall, um, which is foot two feet by six inches by nine feet, nine inches, uh, which would include a red lit eight or five. Um, and then uh, uh, the fourth is the guardrail fence, which is about uh, 125 feet long by three feet and six inches. I divide that pink, you can see. Um, so here's the project budget. The, Total project budget for the Fire Station 5 construction project fund is 150 grand. Artist commission, um, is a, here's a suggestion breakdown. Um, the artist fee would be 25%, which is 32,500. Application or installation is 70%, which is 91,000. And with a contingency built in of 5%, that is 6,500. Um, city costs are 20,000. The artist honorariums, uh, 1,000 each with five artists is 5,000. The unveiling or celebration would be 3,000. Community engagement and outreach, 1,000. And site prep contingency of 11,000. Um, here's the project timeline that we've been going through. Um, we've all been part of, and now we are at May 6th, the selection panel recommendation to art in public places committee. Um, the, for the project goals, um, the goal of this completed project is to draw positive attention to Fire Station 5 as a new station replacing the one previously located on Newgate Court that was destroyed by the Tubbs Fire. The artwork should celebrate the resilience and rebuilding efforts of the Santa Rosa Fire Department and community. Uh, quest for clear qualifications. Sorry, I've got things on my screen that you can um, so we had 69 submissions across the US, um, 36 from California, including 15 submissions from Sonoma County. Um, the selection panel is two of us here, Del Faulkner and Nathan Azdarian. Um, three arts professionals or community members, Melanie Jones Carter, Pamela Van Halsma, and Meryl Wenger, uh, and two representatives from SRFD design team, Krista Butts and Deza Vargas, Daisy Vargas. Um, selection criteria for artistic qualifications, artistic excellence, originality and innovation as evidenced by representations of past work and images provided, appropriateness of the artist's medium and style for this project, experience with projects of similar scope and scale or comparable professional experience to handle the requirements of working in the public sector. Availability to participate in the design, approval, and implementation of the project and complete installation by the deadline. Here's our selected finalists. We have Peter Weckium uh, from The Ashes, Ho Shu Wang's Intersecting Infinity, Robin Brailsforth, Waterfall, Jude Calderon and Roberto Delgado with Beacon of Hope, and then Su Kang Zhao with Community. Um, for, in this, for this process, um, selection criteria is development based on project goals, the advisory committee input, as well as um, extensive public survey. The selection criteria for our work proposals is artistic excellence, originality, and innovation as evidenced by quality of proposal for this project, appropriateness of the artist's proposed medium, style, and concepts, demonstrated understanding and incorporation 
of the stated goals of this project, proposed artwork should be suitable for permanent outdoor placement and address durability, maintenance, and public safety concerns. Um, proposed artwork should be an effective balance of size and scope of design and choice of materials to ensure that the finished installation is of submission, sufficient prominence to capture the positive attention of the public and, of course, references. Um, here's uh, the data from the surveys, um, three different questions. Uh, in your opinion, which project best aligns with project goals that aim to emphasize not only the station's presence, but also commemorate the resilience and rebuilding efforts of both the Santa Rosa Fire Department and community? And which design uh, celebrates the Santa Rosa Fire Department and community? And then which design do you like the most? Um, and as you can see, there uh, was definitely some favorites that stood out. And I believe that uh, two of these questions had uh, more weight than the others from the process that we had. Uh, the recommended artist is Po Shu Wang. There's this, there's the piece that we were able to review. Intersection, intersecting infinity. Uh, that'll be uh, brush mirror polished uh, steel, and then also have a white LED strip light inside of it. Here's what he sent to us. Intersecting infinity is a simple sculptural presence that stands in dynamic balance with the strength of the Phoenix Rising while commemorating the losses of the community with solemnity. The new Fire Station 5 embodies both the metaphorical and literal meanings of the Phoenix that rises from the ashes. The metaphorical is general, timeless, and infinite, but remains to be a potential only. What gives its flesh to become a literal Phoenix in this case is the first responders and community members rose to face the 2017 Tubbs fire. This literal phoenix is temporal, finite, and specific to that history leading to this project. In sculptural terms, it is a sphere self-replication process that gives form to the sculpture and its guiding principle of what got manifested from the simple pattern of endless possibility was aimed at a moment of dynamic balance, so to emphasize the time dimension in it. The same dimension that is needed for the universal phoenix potential to become finite, temporal, and specific phoenix. It's properly approximately eight, um, eight feet, six inches high, and it's mainly polished stainless steel. Um, so today we're doing the select finding the selection panel recommendation. And then this month we plan to finalize the artist services agreement with the artist. And then through the next year, uh, there'll be artwork fab fabrication. And then by end of spring 2025, the artwork will be installed. So the recommendation is to approve the artist for the Fire Station 5 public art project. Thank you. Um, thank you. And is there any questions for the committee? Where is this artist from? Berkeley. Berkeley, yeah. And so he's, he's actually somebody that was impacted by fire and can uh, more easily come up without having to have flights. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah. And I believe he was the only California-based um, artist that got through the, to, to the fire. Right. Do you know if part of this process, the artist was able to visit the site the proposed site? I believe you did. Okay. I think it might have been one of the only ones that did. <laughs> Just were there two people from the fire station on the mm -hmm. team? Mm -hmm. And yeah. was that unanimous decision of the team to, yeah. Yeah, there was the other one um, that had the like five different parts mm -hmm. that was uh, like kind of, or something. yeah, uh, similar, you know, within all the surveys that they were kind of like head to head. But that one does look a lot like Unum in part of it. And um, the component. Yes. Yeah, yeah, similar component, to Unum. You know? Um, and that. then and then it's also just with five different pieces, then the potential of things lasting longer. It's probably higher. three pieces. Or, yeah, three. Three pieces. Yeah. It was a pretty close decision mm -hmm. between mm -hmm. those two artists. Yeah. So, so. it was like I, I was lucky enough to attend and I thought it was a great discussion. 
Um, yeah, that they had about it. I just attended the last one. I didn't see the ones going up for it, but I thought it was a great discussion between all the members and really um, just really thinking about what's best overall for the fire station, for the community, for everything. Yeah. So I was really pleased uh, with the committee and the way they, they ran things. I, Go ahead. Sorry. When you had that survey, because I had looked at those different surveys and stuff, and I know that overall it was this one, which... Um, who exactly was in the survey? How many people were there? 500 uh, online survey answers. Oh, that's what it was. So, so all three of those surveys that you had, the three answers were 500 it was, people? It was one survey, um, and it was sent out everywhere through social media and everywhere. There were about 500 respondents. It was really well put out. Yeah. Um, wow. And okay. a lot of response was from the community. And it was really interesting to everyone. Um, it really brought people together and was yeah, a very interesting it was hard project. To send out, so yeah, I handled that. Okay, yeah. Yeah. that was the response. Okay, yeah, that's that, wonderful. That's yes, that's that online survey there. Yeah, so mm -hmm. I was looking yeah. at that, and that's what I I did not know is that yeah, it was so, the five hundred. Yeah, and those are uh, all percentages. Um, mm -hmm. Correct. Uh, which one is the winner? Like which color? Uh, is the I can't choice? read this. Light blue is light blue. Uh, is interesting. Awesome. And then uh, the right. orange is the other one that was that was head. Interesting. And yeah, then they were yellow really neck is, and neck. yeah, um, yellow is the kind of uh, square phoenix. Um, mm -hmm. And then uh, dark blue mm -hmm. was the um, more mosaic based one. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, dark green <coughs> is the waterfall. And there were some really interesting comments to the survey as well, and from fire staff as well, that um, people really had, uh, that had been through the fire themselves or in the fire department had really strong reactions to some of the pieces and they were all beautiful and well, but there was some negative reaction to, to a few things. Um, and so really where the survey landed was very similar to where the- um, Would you be willing to elaborate on the negative reaction to exactly? Oh, not to the one that was chosen or even to the runner up. Um, there were just a few of other ones that um, maybe had some fire elements or some water elements that um, had some real feelings involved yes. from people that had been through the fire themselves. So nothing about the artist or the artwork itself, but just the feeling that came from it. Is that exactly what you just said was a response that we had right after the fires when we were looking to do a few of the items people did the flames or the fires and stuff they did that was definitely a reaction and we really needed to take account for that when we were looking at different sculptures and different art pieces yeah to move with those yes. yeah to that point to lisa's point was there any mention of the artwork that had been installed at the fire facility on stony point or the one on sonoma avenue I know that our boards had a hand in uh, seeding those artworks. And so I wanted to know if there was any feedback. I didn't hear any feedback through the survey, but we can definitely reach out and what we're doing going forward and bring that back to the board because that would be very interesting to know. I agree. Yeah. yeah thank you for bringing that up. I did see, I did see on social media, the survey pop up. And I'm to stay neutral, I did not <laughs> engage in what I saw. So that was a, a good outreach. That's good to hear. Mm -hmm. yeah. Excellent. I also received that engagement. Where did you see that? On Facebook. Oh, on Facebook? Oh, I saw it on Instagram. I saw it too. It was on Instagram. Mm -hmm. huh. Yeah. It was uh, uh, Twitter. It went out everywhere. Okay. Um, Perfect. Yeah. A really good response. Really pleased with the yeah. response. I mean, 500 is good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Krista, Krista and Daisy were really exemplary. exemplary. Um, sort of community stakeholder mm -hmm. participants mm -hmm. in the process too. Mm -hmm. I was really impressed with them. Good to hear. It's really good to hear. Could we see the selected artwork and the diorama that's adjacent to? Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'll I'll just share that there was discussion about perhaps moving the sculpture to a different site on the property because where it is right now, if people wanted to go up to it and see it, that's where the okay. fire engines will be exiting and it may not be best placement for it. So the artist uh, was open to the idea to moving it 
to a different spot mm -hmm. and it was going to be discussed with the architect and yeah there's the and we, we have i'm sorry there's i believe that there was the intention of having it kind of closer to where the that sign is at the bottom of the flag um, there's a little bit of space there that there's a there's a bit of an issue with the designer and the architect though so yeah. i don't want to make any promises but yeah. it is a discussion that, no, we with, yeah. Yeah. with the design group Sounds like this was a very thorough and um, uh, glad to hear that the public engagement process was very robust. Robust. I was very impressed with the whole process and would like to I'll talk about that later. Thank Jessica for a great job um, yeah. on it. I think it was really done well. Nice. And the, and the whole group that was involved. It was mm -hmm. just a very nice process and it went well. It's great. Yeah. Good people. Um, this is not something that requires a motion, so we can have any more discussion about it. And anyone else wants to say anything besides a question? Okay. No public comment. <clears throat> so, um, what do we do with this? I'm not seeing what our action would be. Do we have any action? So recommended action. This should be a motion for yeah. approval. Yeah, yeah. we need to be a recommended artist. And yeah. I think yeah. the script might be missing. Oh, okay. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for yeah. covering yes. this. Yes. Sorry about that. I just saw that and thought, no, this needs to be a motion. Okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. So, yeah. yeah. May I make a motion to? Yes, sir. <laughs> for, for our board to receive the information and to uh, mm -hmm. uh, approve of the committee of the team's decision the artist. I suggest Second. Second. Um, mentioning the artist's name in the motion. Okay. Oh, shoot. Well, great. Great. Mm -hmm. So approve artist Po Shu Wong. And I second the nomination, or sorry, second the motion. Okay. All right. Thank you for a vote. Uh, committee member Azadarian? Uh, aye. Committee member Faulkner? Aye. Committee member Nathanson? Aye. Committee member Fuentes? Aye. Committee member Stewart? Aye. Vice Chair Kiefer? Aye. And then Chair Baumgartner? Aye. Let the record reflect that we are all ayes. Fantastic. Yeah. Motion passes. Congratulations to everyone. On Thank you too. Thanks. Thank you. Really yeah. excited. Yeah, Bryce. That's good. Can't wait to see it. I can't either. Wow. Is that Crystal? Is this ending this? Because I'm feeling a little unsure since my script was different here. Okay. All right, nothing else. All right. Quick question. Uh, we'll get that straightened out. We can't have the comments and feedback after the motion mm -hmm. and votes in May. So okay. Have okay. Gotcha. Yeah, any more comments about the feedback? Just wanted to follow up with Jill's comment about what worked well about this public engagement process and. Um, yeah, really want to give thanks to Jessica for her role, but wanted to hear from you what you thought was, uh, you know, I haven't gone through, I mean, I've not been through over my years in the city, many processes like this, but not an art one. Um, but I just found that this one, and I don't know if it was because of the fire aspect of it, but um, the outreach was great. Um, the committee was vested and wonderful. And I think it had a wide range on the community, which I love. We all love to see, right? Different opinions and, um, coming from different places, um, but the community just really reached out from this one and we can't always get that. So it was just a really lovely process. Thank you. <laughs> As a member of the staff, if I may, part of uh, economic development and such, uh, yeah, the effort was, there was a lot of passion behind it. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of uh, true authentic engagement going on. Tara did a wonderful job. Jessica did an amazing yes. job picking picking up the pieces, up and just to, to to show you the evidence of the outreach that went on with this project, the response, the proposals uh, was a quite an extensive list, and then as a result of the survey, including uh, those uh, responses, was pretty amazing too. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Just a question about the community response: Is that like data driven? Do we like? filter that into the feedback in a, like, like they could pick it or was it like more advising the committee, the community spoke and we add this to us that are sitting on the term? Well, the survey, when you 
Mm -hmm. you know, you got to see all five yeah, of right. the things. And right. then they, then you had those questions, those three questions mm -hmm. to answer as a community member. And then those responses were compiled by Jessica and mm -hmm. maybe Bryce, I don't know, and brought to the committee at our last meeting. And then we took those things into consideration yeah. and had a final vote. Excellent. But those are part of the discussion like that. Was, but that was part of the discussion yeah, like in the end. And it was pretty clear at that point that it was down to two mm -hmm. um, artists. And so there was there was some, you know, back and forth oh, sure. about one and two, two and one. And, mm -hmm. Yeah, which I think was an excellent part of the whole process. Everybody got to talk it through. And yeah. I think in the end, everybody felt heard and came together. Yeah, that response. Right. Yeah. I mean, it was it was a long process. I can't remember when the committee started the process. Last spring? Maybe? It was a long Early spring. It was I, I've never been uh, on a committee like this before where we did this and it was I would say it's pretty hard. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. we had to go, each one of us had to go through 69 different proposals. Mm -hmm. Yep. And rate them. And then got narrowed down to five. I got narrowed down to five, but I think before that it got narrowed oh, yeah. down. Yeah. They narrowed it down once and then it came down to the five. Yeah, and narrowed it down time. once yeah, and more, then it, it's overwhelming. It otherwise. Is. Oh, I've done, mm -hmm. I've done on one. It is. Yeah. And then it we a lot of work. Yeah, take on. We interviewed or uh, they, each of these five artists did a presentation on Zoom with us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we got to ask them questions and they got to do their proposal. And then we went from there. Yeah. Well, as volunteers, I commend you. <laughs> Thank you. No, seriously, it's, it's it's not a small thing. Right. Sixty-nine yeah. is a fair number to have to review. Yeah, initially. sure. You've got a lot of reviewing, so yeah. Yeah, because at first, the first go round was not actually, um, you know, a specific sculpture for the site. It was just a proposal of their work. Right, there were RF modifications. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. And so, and then each of the five got a thousand dollar stipend to mm -hmm. present and show the actual piece that they would um, propose. propose. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Well, it was a good process. It yep. Looks like. mm -hmm. Definitely a fair process, which is great. Yeah. Great. great way to end that way. Oh, was that everything? Is that what? Oh, no, no, great way to end this discussion. I mean, a great way for that process. <laughs> We're delivering it now. It's going to go forward. That's what I meant. This, it's nice when it comes forward. Good we have a few little things. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. I think, I think well, thank you, everyone. This is really wonderful. Agenda item number five meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Um, so 5.4 is our next item, pro grant, program and project updates. And Jill, would that be you giving us... Uh, committee members program that's from committee members if there's any ad hoc task force reports from anyone we don't have any this time okay i'm actually one above it uh 5.4 oh 5.4 i'm yeah. sorry no no I just skipped ahead that's it's okay no we're all doing it yeah yeah um I don't have any current programs or projects at this time to update you on but if there's anything you'd like to hear about um i can bring it back to you next time so please sure. let me know okay. Yeah, we always like to get updated on the fountain in uh, <laughs> the Ruthasawa, the Ruthasawa fountain. The Ruthasawa fountain. Yes, yes. Exactly. So I always like to see what's going on with that. Yeah, yeah, we kind of got the last from Tara. Okay, fountain update. Okay. And we do have um, uh, new art, art exhibitions that just went up in Finley in person. Great. Not fully on in this in this world, but you know, right next to it. Mm -hmm. uh, Finley has a photography series of uh, pomo dancers, as well as um, uh, uh, in the shelving, there's an exhibition from the Chimera Arts and Makerspace in Sebastopol. And okay. then in the person uh, space, uh, Becoming Independent has an art show. It's up there. Thank you. Finley Center for some shows. Yes, sir. What, Bryce, are you organizing those shows in the interim? Yeah. Oh, okay, great. 
with the help of Jack as well. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. All hands on board. Is there any information on the search process? For a search process for. I the was going to talk to you about that under department reports. Okay, excellent. We will let you do that. Thank <laughs> you. Great. Great. Any more questions for things to check on for next time? Jill could. We appreciate Jill. You say, always check me on our behalf. Send me an email too sure. at any time. Excellent. If there's something you want to hear about, so that way I can be prepared to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> put you on the report out. <laughs> Very good. Okay, um, we'll move on to the next one, which is the committee member reports and. Are there anyone, is anyone doing any work or I feel like we're all a little bit on hold, but um, are you guys yeah. feeling that way? Just yeah. Yeah, for what, a new leader to emerge? Yeah. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't, if you speak up now, if you want to bring anything up, committee members, otherwise, I will move on to department reports and that would be Jill. Thank you so much, Chair. Um, so I just wanted to take a moment to really thank Jessica Rasmussen for her time here and for really keeping things moving. She did a fabulous job. We're going to miss her very much, and we wish her all the best of luck um, in her new job with the library. And um, I wanted to talk a little bit about um, we had a, a great turnout for our applications for the art and cultural and event coordinator. It's going to be all. Um, and it looks like after HR's first review, we had a, quite a few very qualified candidates. So we're looking forward to that process. Interviews will be happening at the end of this week and next week, that'll be the first round. And then there'll be a second round of interviews after that for uh, a shorter list of candidates. Um, so we're, especially me, really looking forward to, um, as well as I'm sure all of you are having somebody new and um, getting them in here to meet all of you. and. And get started. So we're we're really excited about the process. We've got some great folks um, on the panel that know a whole lot more about art than I do. So um, really looking forward to it. And so we'll keep you updated on that as well. So it is possible there may be somebody here for the next meeting in June. Uh, it, that would be probably not likely. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. You'll probably have one more meeting of me, and then um, and then I'll be working with a new person to. Um, to bring this forward um, by the time we do background and go through the whole process it's it usually takes a little bit longer okay um and that's really all um the reports i have unless there's any questions with any of the committee members happy to happy to talk about it again please feel free feel free to reach out to bryce or myself or jack at any time with any questions in the meantime one question I had was on um, the summer concert thing. Is that ongoing? Is that kind of getting, they were getting ready to kind of launch that. Is that happening? The uh, summer concert for Juilliard uh, Park. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to talk library, about it, Bryce? Library, library. That's yeah. exciting. We're excited yeah. about it. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, coming together. Yeah, we have the uh, all the bands selected. Oh, great. Um, and uh, all the bands contacted. Um, and all the bands uh paperwork other than uh, a few contracts that still need to get signed by the bands and I sent everybody the reminders um, and uh, I have two of six that have um, finished that part mm -hmm. once that part is done then I can do the full uh, announcement um, right excellent uh, yeah because right. before that start in June uh, July July oh, July came oh, through excellent. August 11th okay. yeah, oh, super and we will be, uh, since we are a little short staff right now, we'll be looking for volunteers for each concert series to help Bryce um, at the event. So if there's anybody interested in volunteering, please contact us. We'd love to have help. Excellent. We've also been talking to the CAB about that as well, the Community Advisory Board, uh, mm -hmm. for some help. Uh, just maybe a quick update on events, if you're interested. Um, we did for uh, Santa Rosa BIA. So it's SRTBIA funds um, that is between partially the city's money and partially the Metro Chamber's money. Um, we did a request out to everyone for advance. Um, we just finished that whole process um, through a panel similar to the fire station panel that you just did and uh, awarded a lot of really great events. Um, so we're pretty, we're pretty excited about it. Um, a couple of new ones that we're excited about, and then a lot of uh, ones that have been around for a while, Rose Parade, Country Summer, some of the larger ones. Um, 
the music and railroad square. What is that called? Railroad square music. Railroad square music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, some some great events, and so we're pretty excited. We also did community promotions, which is a separate pot of funds that the city um, the city puts forward, and that was some of those events as well. So um, it's going to be exciting full year of <laughs> events. And so we're happy to see that. And I, I don't know how much Jessica or Tara talked to you about that, but that is part of the art and culture world for here and the, and the coordinator will coordinate events as well. Mm -hmm. We would get regular updates about events. Great. So thanks okay. for continuing that. Okay, great. Uh, and I'll come even more prepared next time with a, a great list for you. Mm -hmm. I, th I think it could be helpful if you're wanting some volunteers, if it was really clear what you, people are going to be doing. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you know, yeah. it's kind of hard to even imagine what that would be. Yeah. Once we get there, it'll be, uh, it's, yeah, I'll, I'll make it very clear. Cool. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. Kind of motivate people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging out with Bryce and doing yeah. anything he needs. But yeah. we, we, we can put a list together of exactly what it is. To your point, that's a great point. And we can have Jack send out a correspondence to everyone. Yeah. And just in the light of when you're going to go volunteer and you realize that you're really needed and it's something you're gonna, rather than I'm just going to go hang around and possibly someone's going to look at me or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, it's mainly just, just set, that up, kind of idea. set up and break down and then Excellent. out between. Super. Yeah. Listening to some great music. Great. Yeah. I have a question. Sure. So is this new that the events are part of this committee now? No, it's always been. It's not event. really a part of this committee, but it's a part of, it's a part of the art and culture coordinator position. Okay. Um, it is under that position, mm -hmm. events are. And so it kind of all bleeds together. And so I think it's great to give you guys updates as well, mm -hmm. but it's not the committee's role, this committee's role. A couple of years ago when, I think this is the event where the Mary Lou uh, patrol car was unveiled, there was some discussion at, at this committee about how um, the public events sometimes looked like art events in that case, you know, with um, low rider culture and, and, and all the, those amazing um, works of art on four wheels. And so I, I think that's also part of it is, uh, you know, just being aware of what's going on in the city. And there's often an, uh, a creative and artistic component that sort of, sort of, like you said, bleeds over into um, yeah. public art. But, yeah, that's why I think it's great that you guys are informed. And just on that note, one of the events that um, that we did sponsor was the Cinco de Mayo, which was last night. I don't know if you, any of you uh, got to attend, but it was well attended. It went really well. Um, no issues. The vendors were very happy and felt like they, um, you know, got their money, you know, for their time. They did really well. Um, only positive feedback today. We, um, I drove over this afternoon really quick to take a look at it. And I know yeah. Raphael drove over this morning and it looks cleaned up and beautiful. So um, successful event overall from what we're hearing. Where was it actually at? Uh, and Roseland on Sebastopol Road. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, they closed down as... Um, yeah. Yeah, right yeah. Between West and Dutton, it mm -hmm. was closed. Yeah. yeah, I noticed it was closed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this yeah. was the first year that they did it um, in on, on the road rather than in the park. So yeah, yeah. it was a big step up. Nice. I was I was at a concert downtown and there, a lot of the cars were cruising through on Mendocino. Mm -hmm. yeah. It was beautiful. It was like it was like a parade, kind of yeah. quietly flags, yeah. but the beautiful cars and it's also considered very artistic. Yeah, so I'm saying I just yeah. sat I was smart. walking, I was yeah. just like, oh my gosh, look it at that. Beautiful. It, it was, was actually beautiful down there. Um I was only there for a few hours, but it was um the setup and everything was lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, really nicely done. Fantastic. I have a quick question about um, SRTBIA funded awards, or <laughs> sorry, events that received award funding. Uh, and was the Peggy Sue Car Show or, sorry, you mentioned Railroad Square Music Festival, Country Summer, and the Rose Parade. Those were a, a combination between some were community promotions and some were SRTBIA. I don't believe Peggy Sue was on either list. I don't think they sent okay. in an application. Not a I, I think they're doing it in Petaluma this year. Are they? Oh, they're doing it here. Oh, they are? Yeah, next month. <laughs> okay, because I heard the other day, maybe they're doing it twice then. Uh, yeah, no, I just was I'm working on Alton's uh, pre-event meeting right now. Interesting. Uh, yeah, I can tell you the date if you want. There might be another one in. There might be. Yeah. Maybe they're I doing think, two. Yeah. They, I have seen it in Petaluma in the past. Okay. They might have it. Um, the one done in Petaluma might have a slightly different name mm -hmm. that deals with um, whatever that George Lucas film was that was filmed down there. American Graffiti. Yeah, I think it might be there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, 
Yeah, uh, uh, June 8th is the Peggy Sue car cr show and cruise. Correct. Cool. And Peggy Sue's kind of iconic for Santa Rosa. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. ah. Um, I'm not pulling it up really quickly right now, but next meeting I'll bring you a full list so you can tell you which one was which and how much was funded on each. Um, that was, there is a SRTVIA public public meeting. It's a public board. Um, so you can also look on there and see which ones were funded for that. But I, I will make a note and bring back the full list for you guys next time when we can talk about how each were funded. Great. And in, in the meantime, if you have any other specific questions, this is good. This gives us all the information for our next meeting. Mm -hmm. So fountain update events and funding. Does anyone else want to add anything to a future agenda? You see, there's a list on your. Trying to remember if we've done this before, but it would be nice to get a, a kind of geographical range of events that we're engaged in, just so we have a sense of what the hot spots are and what spaces are, you know, maybe less active. Yeah, in there's terms of funding an event. Totally. Well, if, and there's there's a number of other things that are in the works um, too, but you know, with, with so much changes. And, yeah. And there's very specific. Um, there's very specific funding requirements for yeah. that money. And so it's not necessarily geographically. It is, um, especially SRTBIA, is very specific to bringing folks into the hotels because it's money that yeah. comes from the hotel tax from the TOT. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's more centered, those funds are more centered around how many tourism, how many people are brought into the area. In the downtown district, specifically. Um, not necessarily in the downtown, but it is more centered in the downtown. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, that is. Well, and that's why that's a, another reason why the city started community promotions, mm -hmm. um, which is an additional funding source because uh, nonprofits and other other events, smaller events, maybe more um, local oriented events, can be funded that way. Yeah. And there's records for everything that since it's been since it got started. Oh, um, and I believe that those are accessible online. Oh, got what? It would be interesting yeah, to see this in general. Yeah, and we'll bring that back to you next time. That'll be a good item to talk to discuss. Thanks. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Anything else? Questions? Ads? Anything comes up in the meantime, please just let me know. Thank I'm you. Happy to bring it back to you. Thank you. Okay. Looks like our next meeting is Monday, June 3rd. And in the absence of any other comments, uh, the meeting's adjourned. Well, right. lost it. I know, we're here. So uh, if anybody would like a, uh, a two-for-one admission rack card,